everyone, welcome with Hanging with Alicia. Today we're going to install a new vent fan on our 2019 um, camper trailer. So today we're going to do the Vortex 1 that we ordered off Amazon. Um, and then for the tools that you're going to need today will be a wire cutter, some uh, wire cutters like for zip ties and stuff, a screwdriver, number two preferably, a drill to go ahead and uninstall the screws but not reinstall because you don't want to strip them out. And then you also need some wire nuts. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this so you guys can see um, the stuff that comes with it. So you'll get obviously the fan assembly that goes up into the vent. It replaces the old fan. And then it comes with the new handle to open the top of the um, vent cover. It comes with screws and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Take it out of the bag and set it on the table. <laughs> And then explain to them these things, how you have to take the screws out on the back if, if it doesn't quite fit where your handle already exists. This is the power button to turn it on and off. Okay. Okay, so this can be repositioned to make it so your um, it can fit your handle position because every camper is different. So it will still allow you to use the turning knob to open your vent flap and this is the on and off button. Okay, so okay, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, disassemble uninstalling the old fan. So the first thing you need to do is remove these four s screws that are holding the plastic piece that holds the screen up and then you have to remove the handle to access your fan and the wires. I hate using normal screwdrivers. Can you hand me the drill? Thanks. See how much faster that is? Thanks. So as soon as you remove all four screws, this comes down and it's messy. And this is what it looks like with the plastic removed. So in order to remove the handle, you need to hold on to it because when you turn the screw, it will turn the handle as well. And we don't want that because then it doesn't do anything. Just like that. Okay. So now we need to remove the nut that's around the power button for this fan off so we can remove the screen. So once you get the bolt that holds on the button for your fan undone, there are two screws that hold the vent screen in place that you need to remove. Okay, so after you get those two screws out, you just pull the screen out like that. And that's the old screen. Okay, so 
Now we are going to have to remove the switch, fan, and motor from this. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove the fan. There's going to be two screws that hold the motor on. You're going to remove that. And then you're going to um, uh, cut the black wire about an inch, aw inch away from the switch. That way, just in case you want to use it for a different project. Um, the white wire, you're going to stretch and make it the same length as the black wire and cut it so that they're the same length. So before you start all this, you want to make sure that you turn off your circuit breaker because um, you don't want to pop a breaker or um, injure yourself. It's only 12 volts, but it can still do a spark and we don't want any of that mess going on. So make sure you turn off your power before you start clipping wires. So first step is there's a zip tie, zip tie up here. So we want to clip that without clipping the wire already. So you should be able to get up in there and clip it. Okay. So that's done. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the fan. Just grab a hold of it and pull down. And then there's two screws that hold on the motor. You'll just remove those. And that. first about an inch away from the button right about there okay bring that down and then your white wire is going to want to cut too about the same so we'll just cut it there like so and that's your old motor so you can use it for another project if you want okay so next steps are, I forgot to tell you guys, but you'll need a bungee, unless you have someone that can help you um, hold the fan up. But if you don't have a short enough bungee, we have a long one, you can just tie it. And it'll basically make it shorter for you to help you like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook it here and then I'm going to hook it up and to where the motor was like so and it'll hold on to it for me while i am working on wiring it in so what you want to do is get your wire cutters this is a 18 gauge wire so i'm just going to st strip it about a uh, quarter way back like so Okay, and you're just gonna do that with the white wire as well. Okay, so the fan is done. So now we have to do the wires on the camper. You're gonna do it the same and just pull it off like that. And then the white wire as well. like that. Okay, so as soon as you have your wires stripped and ready to go, you're going to take your wire nuts and you're going to start with the black wire. But first you want to make sure you test your wiring in your camper. Sometimes they can be backwards. Um, ours isn't because we've already kind of played with our previous fan before, so we know. So we're going to go ahead and put these two together like so. And then you're going to twist them around each other and then take your wire nut and twist it on there until it stops. Like twist it on there. Like so. It doesn't come off. Okay? <laughs> then you want to do the white wire.
Okay, so they should be on there tight now and the wire shouldn't come out. Okay, all right, so take the bungee off. There we go. And take the bungee off completely so it doesn't get stuck in the fan and then turn on. It works. And it is supposed to have crazy power even for 12 volts. And it's supposed to suck in cool air or outside air from the windows and put it out the top. Okay, before I continue, I got ahead of myself and we're gonna have to hold the, uh, find something to hold the wires up out of the way and we found a bread tie. So that's what we're gonna do first before we install the handle. And I think my husband needs to help me, thanks. And you don't want the wires to get in the way and that's why you want to use a zip tie. Um, basically anything that'll hold the wires up out of the way for you. Okay. And then you're just gonna push it up into the spot. the handle so when you're pushing this up you also want to make sure you twist the handle to get it in place with the top thing and as you can see it's good to go it's opening up so while you're pushing this up you also want to make sure you're turning the handle okay Okay, so once you get this pretty much snug up in there, um, you have to, where the old handle used to be, there is a spot for a screw to go. So you just pull this back off. This screen, what makes this really neat too, is easy to clean, which is nice because otherwise you have to remove this whole thing like we just did. And it just turns and comes off so you can clean out bugs and stuff. So I really like that feature of this fan. So. Uh, a long screw with a washer came with the kit and it's going to go up where your um, old handle used to be. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually install the handle completely by putting a screw through the center of the knob. You wanna make sure you hold on to the knob, otherwise it will turn and you don't want that because then the screw won't tighten. So, and it opens up the vent, like so, and closes it. We're going to open it slightly, we're going to turn it on, and we're going to take the pla a plastic bag, the one that it came with, and show you the flow of it. I want to try something real quick. That's three screws in it. And it gets them. It sucks the bag up. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so just to show you guys a reference between the new fan suction and the old fan, because we still have it in our bathroom, which we'll install later, um, I'm going to go ahead and use a plastic bag and show you guys the suction of the old style fan. As you can see when it's right on the fan, it works, but as soon as you drag it off, it falls down. And I'm super close to it and it won't even lift the bag up unless I push the bag up to the fan. So that fan, the new one, is pretty awesome. Okay, 
so you're going to take the same two screws that you took out of the old fan that holds it up and you're going to put them back in with a screwdriver tighten them down and now we're going to put the plastic cover back up and it should slide right up into its spot okay then you're going to take the four screws and put them back in okay so now that um all four screws are installed we're going to just test it just to make sure everything's good to go so we're going to turn it on we're going to close the vent and listen because what we're going to be checking for is to make sure the wires aren't going to be hitting the fan blade and then we're going to open it to make sure basically that all is functional So there you have an uh, installation for the Vortex One fan. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And thanks for hanging out.